In New York, Harvey Weinstein will find out today just how much time he's going to spend behind bars. A judge is expected to sentence the disgraced movie mogul this morning. Weinstein faces up to 29 years in prison after being convicted in February. On Monday, the court unseals more than a thousand pages of documents, including his personal emails. Our Tarika Duncan is at the uh, New York City courthouse, just outside the courthouse, where he'll be sentenced. Um, when do we expect the sentencing to start, Tarika? About 9.30 this morning, so a little over an hour and a half from now, you can kind of see a little line behind me that's uh, building up. A lot of folks, a lot of journalists expected to be at that sentencing, which will happen on the 15th floor. Now, interestingly enough, on the eve of the day that this case is really coming to an end, as you said, a lot of emails and whatnot were released, uh, including new information that reveals that Harvey Weinstein's own brother called the disgraced movie mogul a sexual predator. How are you feeling this morning, Mr. Weinstein? The newly released documents give a glimpse into Weinstein's mental state in the months after women began coming forward. In a draft email statement in 2017, Weinstein claimed he was suicidal. He later went on to commend the journalists who exposed him, writing, as hard as it is for me to lose everything, I know they fought for something that's important, as did the women. The documents also reveal tense emails from Weinstein's brother and former business partner, Bob. In emails in 2017, Bob told his brother, I pray there is a real hell. That's where you belong. That same year, Weinstein wrote an email to his representative that said Jennifer Aniston should be killed. That email came after the National Enquirer claimed it was going to publish a story saying Weinstein sexually assaulted Aniston. A representative says the allegations were not true. In a letter to the judge Tuesday, Weinstein's defense attorneys asked for leniency, saying the trial did not fairly portray who he is as a person. But prosecutors argued Weinstein's conduct shows him to be a serial sexual abuser. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman said she does not think Weinstein will get the five-year minimum sentence. I believe the judge will be very harsh on Harvey Weinstein. The judge cannot forget that he has already heard the testimony of six accusers. So I do not expect the judge to be terribly lenient with Mr. Weinstein. So Harvey Weinstein did not testify at his trial. Do we know if he'll be speaking at his sentencing? There's always that possibility. We're, we're not sure, honestly, uh, Anne-Marie, but we did speak to his publicist who described him as feeling very nervous. Uh, but it would be interesting, I think, for him to not necessarily get the last word, but for people to hear from him because we are expecting to hear uh, from the women that he is convicted of abusing uh, and sexually assaulting, raping even. So uh, will he speak is the question I think we all are, are trying to find out if that will happen. Again, the sentencing will uh, get underway, expected here about 930. Uh, we're also told that it'll probably last about two hours. Mm, okay. Um, and what charges is he still <coughs> facing now in Los Angeles? So he still has charges that are pending in Los Angeles. You know, we reached out to the district attorney's office there, and they're not really saying what will happen in reference to when they will bring him to Los Angeles to face those charges. But those charges are in relation to two women. Uh, forcible rape is one of them. Sexual battery by restraint is another one. Uh, and in that case, both of those cases combined, he's facing up to 28 years with that case alone. And again, with the case that we're talking about here in New York City, facing up to 29 years behind bars. Wow. Uh, Drika Duncan, thank you yeah. so much.